about one-third of the world's population is currently asymptomatically infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis, the TB pathogen that causes TB in humans. This is referred to as latent tuberculosis, or LTB, and about 5-10% to 10 of LTB patients are going to develop active tuberculosis at some point of their life. This largely depends on their own immune system, because there is no treatment nor cure for latent tuberculosis. So the question is, why not? Well, your macrophages, which are the cells whose function it is to engulf, destroy, and present to your adaptive immune system any pathogen that enters your body, fail to do this. You see, once mycobacterium tuberculosis has been engulfed by a macrophage, it is able to avoid the process of its own destruction, thus turning the macrophage into a replication permissive environment that is going to shuttle the pathogen into the more distant parts of the lung tissue. Now, in this lung tissue are other replication permissive cells that are simply going to allow tuberculosis to disseminate itself across the entire body. Your immune system, as a last-ditch measure, engulfs the entire formation of all of the infected cells into what is known as a TB granuloma. Now, the conditions within this granuloma are very noxious and toxic for the TB pathogen. However, it is able to survive within the granuloma by essentially going to sleep. In this state, it is not very susceptible to antibiotics. However, treatment or attempting to treat LTB can lead to drug resistance. Now, to address this problem of the inaccessibility of the granuloma in, and the incurability of LTB, throughout computational biology and drug design work, we have developed a nanopharmaceutical system for treatment of latent tuberculosis. It is consisted of eukaryotic vaults, which are a novel sort of nanotechnology, barrel-shaped nanoparticles with hollow cores that can be filled with hundreds, sometimes thousands of molecules depending on their size, and they can be essentially uh, modified in such a way as for the vaults to be uh, smart drug carriers, only targeting specific cells. We load the vaults with very specific chemical inhibitors, non-antibiotic compounds that inhibit the genes that allow for the bacteria to fall asleep in the granuloma, and considering that the size of the vault is so small that it can penetrate into the granuloma, it is very easy to imagine how effective this treatment system could be for tuberculosis. Once the vault is inside the granuloma, which has low pH, it opens up and releases its therapeutic cargo. 